Welcome to episode five, and this is the fifth uh, video, first, fifth episode that we're filming today. We've come from High Peak Junction um, on episode one, uh, and this episode is all about the Middleton Incline, and we're going up the incline as far as uh, the Middleton Top. Chairs, rail, chairs, rail chairs, 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 yeah. And is there any inscriptions on them or anything like that? Yeah, there is a lot. London North Western Railway. It said something about London North Western border point, didn't it, early on? Yeah, further up, London, uh, that was the boundary, bound, them, them boundary posts yeah. near Black Rock. Yeah, so this is the bottom of, of the incline there, on the winding mechanisms here. And there's, and there's the winding mechanism. So as I was just saying, this is the bottom of the Middleton incline. With that huge wheel there, look. Some of the metal work and the uh, mechanics on that. Pieces of engineering, that weighs. Weighs, how much that weighs. I'm just noticing the blue bricks around the top look, and then red bricks in the bottom of the pit. I think it's because they weather weather a little bit better than the red brick, a little bit more hard wearing. We can reach down here, look, get a, a good view on this one, can't we? Of the some of those wheels down there, and <laughs> they've got to be the original, the original cables look. And the weave on those. I love all the little joinings and fittings and things like that that are just left. And teams of people who would have been keeping these in working condition. Uh, is it rather difficult to see? You can see what's going off on it. You can see a train about to come up, I think. It's poor, isn't it? Do you reckon it's just... No. It doesn't rub off, does it? No, it doesn't. It's just weathered, isn't it? Yeah, sadly we can't see the photographs, unfortunately. Let's climb the incline. Second the incline of the day. Not as long as the first. Yeah. This is a, a very high bridge, isn't it? Mm. Like you just said, they've, they've cut the way, they've blasted the way. Through here, haven't they? They probably got as far as here, not too bad, then suddenly they've had to get the old dynamite out. It's some jobless, isn't it? Nothing. I mean, to say that they've gone to these lengths for these inclines, nothing stood in the way, has it? No. I'm about to get dripped on. top of that bridge looks quite insignificant in the grand scale of the, the rest of it. Yeah, look at these rock faces here. Ah, going downhill, that's the easy way out. Ironically, we're not going back this way with uh, a car at the top. So uh, we only get to enjoy going up the incline today, don't we? Yeah, it's probably worse going down, actually, on your feet and your knees, yeah. actually, going down, it's quite bad, isn't yeah. it? The quads will be feeling it tomorrow. Oops. 
Yeah, a little old. Looks a bit like an American railroad type um, carriage. That's good. So one incline on here is one in eight and a half. So not as steep, only just as that last one now. Feels a little bit more. Feels a bit steeper this, to be honest. I, I don't know if it's just because we're uh, coming to the end, um, end of the day. I think we've motored up this a little bit quicker than we did that last one as well, haven't we? I don't know about motoring up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have a look with the drone. It less seems a bit less windy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't believe it's the end of the climbing for today. Middleton top. Yep. Here is another one of those indicator wheels that we saw at the very start. A simple form of signalling for communication between the top and bottom of the inclines as well as the engine house. In previous videos we wondered what the letter stood for, so B was standby for when the load at the bottom was ready to be pulled up, G was for go when the opposite end gave the go ahead, S was for stop when the wagon had reached its destination. Moving the pointer on the drum would alert the engine house via a bell to start or stop the winding mechanism. So I came here on my motorbike um, last summer, really hot day, and was walking around in my bike gear. What? How much is it? Oh yeah, yeah it is. So we're just gonna have a trip in to the engine house, top of the incline. So this is this is what would have pulled up the wagons. Oh, so these are the boilers that powered the. Yeah, uh, absolutely. All ah, right. So you would have had two two big burly firemen here stoking stoking the fires in these big fire tubes. Yeah. Uh, probably with their uh, their kids as well and their apprentices and stuff. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you can see in there they would have sent, there, yeah. sent a lad in there at the end of the day to rake out all the uh, the coals and that. And uh, these these boilers generated about five pounds of steam, which yeah. is uh, it's low pressure steam, so it's a large volume of low pressure steam. So this concept is exactly the same as top of the uh, sheep part is not that or slide yeah. the engine out. Yeah, exactly. The uh, the uh, the idea is the same. You'd have two uh, you'd have two tracks up the incline, and one going up and one going down, and that meant that you could balance two loads against each other, you know, going up and going down. And then you'd use a, a big winding engine to just keep the momentum. The boilers are just put out so so. so these steam bodies for this then got all this pressure that's building up. Is it all being just straight through these? So it's going yeah. It's these big. It's these big. Big, uh, big cast iron pipes, and then it goes through there into into the uh, into the engine room and stuff like that. Got the original steam gauges there from the uh, from the boilers that were on the uh, that would have been on the front of the uh, the boilers just here originally. See how much uh, water's left in the boilers and that. Yeah, it's absolutely magic. But there we go. This is our beautiful. Feel engine. Watch your feet on these, by the way. It's quite uh, quite wow. down there. Been, uh, been worn from 200 years of use. Oh, absolutely, yeah. That, that step there would have been where the engine man understood so that he could operate the controls and look at the, uh, 
look out the window and see the, uh, the carriages coming up the uh, incline there as well. Look at the size of that down there. It's enormous. I didn't realise it went down so far. Absolutely. There's as much machinery under the floor level as there is above it. There's a huge, a huge amount of machinery. Oh. Well, that's quite neat, man. Yeah. So the, the, this, the, 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 the shell that's left the top of the shell yeah. patches then, we can see, you know, when you look at it, obviously now we've been here, you can, in fact, place where everything was there. Right. It's almost the same. Yeah, yeah, they were the same. I, if I, I think it's they were the same horsepower. Is it the film anything? Possibly. I don't know it all that well. I need to go and have a proper look and see how it, how it all maps to it. Yeah. But uh, as far as possible, they would have tried to reuse components and moulds and that. You know. So there's a lot of machinery missing, or was it just no. basically oil? No, it's never been oh, right. Never dealt with it. No, never no, at all. No, no. Because no. uh, this, this one, because this is on a very steep incline, this was used all the way through the line of the road. Some of the other ones, because they're on shallow inclines, you can get locomotives up there. You know, if you get a fair head of steam, you can go a decent speed. Yeah, well, you can get the top of your face and handle this cylinder while it's grinding through the panel. I know it does, yeah, it does it. Yeah, it's a bit like that. It's all the lagging trying to keep the heat uh, in there working over and how it runs. It's not a steam, it's a steam. So it was never kind of, you know, you never never prove it. Yeah, yeah. No, it was not completely Oh, wow. God, that's fascinating, though. That's interesting. Yeah, it's all feeling. Yeah, I can imagine. It's one of those. Yeah, yeah. We have like this that we just like what to, uh, you know, what, like, you know, you know instead of having to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and stop the boilers, we just do that. Aren't we? Well, that's that cheap. If you've been to, uh, you've just been to see the pump house, that costs £400 a day in coal. This costs £40 a hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, You've watched carefully, you can see the wagon just coming up the Finger trapped, would you? The size of these. <laughs> Feel that whole building shaking, can't you? When, it, when it's going. Yeah, what a great treat that was to go in there and see that engine working. So. It's powered by compressed air. No, I think it was compressed air, he said, rather than the old steam. Um, the boilers aren't up to it anymore, in fact. I think they've rusted through, is what he said. Um, but still great just to see the mechanics of it all, isn't it? Right next to Middleton Top, just across the trap bed from the uh, from the engine house. This is an old tramway stretching off between between the walls. We can see the old tramway on maps heading north from the Middleton Top engine house. It curves round towards Hopton Woodstone Quarry, and we can follow that tramway through the fields before it suddenly comes to an abrupt stop. The expansion of the quarry just cuts off that tramway, and it just literally goes off the edge of a cliff. Is it under a bridge here or something? I don't know. And down here. Possible. This is an old road, but it looks like it just came down here. Look, that's just like a headshot. A cash product, is it? I don't know. Yeah. This down here is definitely something down here. It's like a line came along here, isn't it? It's a bit overgrown to see. I can see, I can see tracks sticking out down there. It only goes as far as here unless that's been infilled, I'm not quite sure. So we're just investigating this section between the two walls just behind um, Middleton Top. A couple of var various bits of steel work. A uh, couple of rails there, look. Still attached to the sleepers.
See, we don't know if this is uh, a siding or something from the actual line, or if it's, uh, or if it's that tramway that's just going off in the other other direction. It's not. Oh, I've got great um, mobile reception up here. It'd be nice just to pull up the maps and cross check as we're coming um, to these things. I do love finding out about things like this. I can't see this anywhere on any older maps, but it is acknowledged on the rail map online maps. With that quarry line appearing from our top right, there is a siding off the main line, right where we're looking. You can see the line from Red Hill Quarry too, and we'll be covering that in the next episode. Was this a station? Mm, no, 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 I, I don't know if it was a station here at, at, at one time. Maybe a good station. No evidence that these are the station buildings. They look old fashioned, don't they? They feel cotton. It's a nice spot, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice spot. Are we, we're not at the top, are we? This isn't the top of the, the line, the no. Point, no. There's more inclines Popton after this. Popton goes higher. Goes even higher once you go Popton. I wasn't sure if it was all... So when does it start actually going downhill then? I can't remember. Uh, after Burbage, isn't it? Oh, oh right. And Burbage, that... you start going downwards then. Oh, that's quite a... This is the incline at Goy Valley, isn't it? That used to be in two parts, like the sheep passes one and they made it into one. Then it goes down Shaw Cross, then it goes down Whaley and you arrive at the canal. Canal. The wharf then, yeah. Full gate line must have... Why then, isn't it? Yeah, I'd never noticed these before. I didn't... The, 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 the full side line, that's that line at the side of it here. Did they completely relay the line with sleepers or did they keep, yeah. did they keep these? I, I don't know whether they've uncovered them when they took all ballast up and they might have laid yeah. track on the top, then they've cleared up ballast away and they're still there underneath. Possibly. Right, so that's the end of episode five. Um, obviously we're at some stage I'm going to be carrying on down here there's still a lot to show you we've only just started to scratch the surface of this uh, this old railway line um, but anyway I hope you've enjoyed the first five episodes of this series um, so as always and cheers yeah, to, to Phil nuggets of knowledge stuff I would never know I would have just missed so yeah always appreciated so as always cheers for watching take care and we'll see you soon